morning guys welcome back to another vlog welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is bianca you should definitely subscribe stick around all the things my best friend haven just left yesterday and now it's time to clean reset for the week you know when you have friends come visit or whatever things just get a little messy because you're just not in the zone and like cleaning up and you're just kind of go 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 Doing a little self reset mental reset for the week getting everything cleaned i'm still in my pajamas so i'm actually taking today off from the gym so we have the full day ahead of us to get lots of things done and work but you know all the things so i'm gonna change skincare put on an outfit just kind of have like a mental me day so let's do that that's exciting woke up with this fabulous zit on my face she is not welcome, but we are embracing her with open arms and letting her live her best life on my face while she does. Still a snowy situation outside. Very icy, very much icy. So there is another snowstorm in the forecast for Friday, so we will see about that, but I'd be okay with it. I'm kind of okay with this whole stay in, be cozy situation. I have a jazz in the background playlist playing right now off of Spotify on my little speaker. But it is Tuesday, which means a new What We Said podcast episode is out. So I'm switching over to that. The following podcast is a Dear Media production. <laughs> an appointment for noon so we're fixing these bad boys they're so bad i hear sirens i'm at a red light right now i'm almost there i just ordered starbucks it's right next door so i'm gonna run in and pick it up but yeah i'm gonna go for brown tips and a light brown line before the rest of my nail i don't know if i explained that really well but i will show you running into starbucks really quick it is so so cute got my coffee walking over to my nail salon I'm in a parking garage right now but i don't think i showed you guys my outfit it's nothing special with the nails oak killed it i gave you guys i tried to show you in the nail salon because i usually get out and then i'm like oh the lighting's terrible i need some lotion necessary hand cream 10 out of 10 oh hold on i need to drive um i'll put that on in a minute but what you need to know is that I met a woman in there who watched my stuff. 1-800 number. Her name was Rachel and she was super nice and then we just sat there and chatted for a little bit and she was so cool. So Rachel, if you by chance you're watching this, looking at my GPS, I'm not on my phone, I promise. Um, you were really cool and you made my nail experience even more fun than it usually already is because it usually already is really fun because I freaking love Oak which by the way Oak is leaving the current location so if you're watching this and you're in Charlotte and you get your nails done and or want to get your nails done with Oak which I totally recommend because she can do all the designs and everything and she has never she's never done me dirty you know like I just love her trust her only want Oak to do my nails for instance she was out of town this weekend and was not working so I didn't go get my nails done, even though I wanted to with Haven. We just didn't go, and then it snowed. So 
it ended up working out anyway. Also, this that came in my Thrive Market box. Oh my god, my new fave. Seriously, so good. I'm in the elevator. My camera out so I can do my little nail reveal for Colin. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh! It's mom. It's mom. Hello. I didn't realize you guys were just going to be sitting there waiting for me. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Hi. Oh, is mom home and it's the best thing ever? Hello. Do you want to see my nails? Hi. Come here. Give me hugs. Give me hugs. Oh. Missed you. Missed you. Missed you. Try to do acting. Such a good boy. Okay, now reveal. Oh, I like them. Thanks. Brown with a little tan line. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, she did a good job, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love them. Taking a break from getting some computer work done, um, like editing and stuff, but I am about to pop over onto Pinterest on my laptop and write out a grocery store list because once Colin gets back from painting a green screen that he said, um, we're gonna go to the grocery store. So, so far here's my list. It just says grocery store. By the way, these little to-do pads, they are from Amazon and I love them. I don't have a planner. I'm not planning on getting one this year. It's just, I buy one every single year, including last year. And I don't use it. I'm not a planner person. If I need to write something down, I put it in my notes on my phone or in my calendar on my phone. And why force yourself to be a planner person if you just can never uphold, come on, bud. If you just can't be consistent with it, you know? I'm just not meant to be a planner person. So I'm not gonna buy one that I'm not gonna use. Come here, buddy. So I'm gonna start writing out a grocery list and searching for some recipes on Pinterest because I just want to have more of a like productive, efficient grocery list than just going and getting whatever so i'm gonna sit here and do that i'm watching cayenne wolfgang's vlog her reset with me the one that she just uploaded so i'm just gonna watch on youtube try and find some recipes try and make a beneficial grocery list which we have not done for a hot minute so maybe some crock pot recipes and then that way we'll have more recipes for the vlogs because it's just like when we whip something up i just don't think it's as fun okay got the list done i think it's a good loaded list. What do you think? Yeah. My list? It's good. I spent a long time on it. <clears throat> Sun's already down, but we're headed into the Harris Teeter and gotta get our shop on so we can make dinner, which I don't even know what I'm making for dinner or we, but we're eating something. Oh yeah. Mm. This is so annoying. Two for six, so oh yeah. All right, quick little grocery haul. Um, chicken, but like that's boring. Here. Okay, I kind of already showed you this in the grocery store, but popcorners. Sugar free. Lay's chips. Popcorners. Here. Is it bad? No, it's supposed to be like. No, I'm saying to the taste bad. Oh, I don't think so. Bio steel. It's pretty good. What does that taste like? Tastes like something. We got a take and bake bread loaf. <laughs> Tortillas for enchiladas or <laughs> tacos or something. Big with lots of eggs. Lots of organic, large, brown, grade-A eggs. <clears throat> okay. Um, what is this bread? Sour cream. What? No, that's the um, pumpkin bread. We were, hey, we were trying to bake that the other day. We oh. couldn't get the oven to heat up. Colin got some just generic peanut butter. I got this to go with my Lay's chips. Hell of a good dip is so good. I'm going to eat it, like, right now. Um, heavy cream for my coffee at home. This is the best yogurt ever. Honey vanilla. Collins yogurt. Oh, sorry. Okios 
Isn't that how you say it? Okios? Triple okay. zero? Okios? Yeah, I guess so. I thought it was Okios for some reason. <clears throat> Wait, you thought it was what? Uh, Okinos. Oh no, I think it's Okios. No, you're right. I, I'm wrong. But we I'm got ice just, cream. Mistaken. So we can make milkshakes and have all the boys come to the yard. Okay. Um, we got some chicken broth for like crock pot meal um, and or gravy. You can make at home gravy with chicken broth and I forgot how you make at home gravy because my baby brain's really bad. Colin gets egg whites because, is that expired? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Dang. Um, Colin gets egg whites and he drinks them in his protein shake and then he thinks it's so gross that he sits there and looks like he's going to throw up it's the entire time. It's not because the egg whites are in it at all. <laughs> oh, it's not? No, it's because it was just really thick and mm. the protein that I got isn't good in it. Like, it's chalky. Oh. And, like, super, super thick. All right. Well, the whole time he drinks his protein shake. He looks so miserable. Sour cream. And he, oh yeah. He looks like he's gonna throw. Peanut up. butter. Oh yeah. All natural. <laughs> Need it. I told him about it. Milk. Nope. Um. So anyways, it's just funny because every time he tries to drink his stuff, he I can't even look at him because it makes me want to throw up. Red pepper. Here you can put that in my cute little white things from Crate and Barrel. Green pepper. Zucchini. All these are for recipes. <clears throat> avocado, avocado, avocado. Should we put the ones that are more squishy in the fridge and then the one that's not out? Leave them out. I need to Google how to like make your avocado. This one's flat. just like, they there's, just one, that, there's one that's tough. Lots of bananas. I need to figure out how to like properly take care of avocado. We love bananas in this house. I wonder if the baby loves bananas. I don't know, you should ask him. You want me to ask her right now? Oh, the baby? Yeah. Ew, we do not joke. stand the baby. He's a bad man. I like the baby, what the hell? He's a bad man. I've grown to really like the baby. Spit. Because he has his daughter in his Instagram story. Yeah, he like is the, one of the, well, do it's, you not it's remember becoming he, like, more and more popular. Somebody? It's becoming more, more and more popular. But he like constantly posts like fatherly things. I like that. That's fine. Did he not wrong. shoot somebody here? Well, yeah, but we don't know the circumstances. <laughs> I don't think he's a good person. Okay, I mean he could be. I could be wrong. Red potatoes for a crock pot recipe that we have coming soon, maybe tomorrow. Who knows? I just I've, I've heard like mixed reviews on the baby. P.F. Chang's fried rice for Colin. Mozzarella for a uh, recipe. A uh, spring veggie mix for Colin. Butter for us. Best mac and cheese ever. I don't care what anyone says. If you want to feel like you're eating like amazing gourmet mac and cheese, you have to get Kraft Deluxe. De the Deluxe. It's truly deluxe. Truly, George. Dots pretzels. You can tell them about this. I love them. They're the best. They taste amazing. Uh, crackers for cheese. Just classic crackers. I'm gonna do uh, strawberry syrup. So I got some frozen strawberries. Chocolate chips because we're gonna make a cookie skillet. And dill dip. This is the best dip to dip your veggies in. My main hearts because I'm gonna start doing like a Mexican bowl for lunch. I saw this from this one on TikTok and I was like, mm, that's good. Mushrooms. I don't touch these, eat these, swallow these. I do nothing with mushrooms. They them. gross me out. I don't even want to look at them. I don't even want to smell them. Berries. I feel like I am a strawberry. Tomatoes. Look at how cute these are. <clears throat> All the limes. Because... Alright. Limes are, all right. are good. Alright, alright. Basil to make my syrup. It'll all make sense when I do it. Vegetable oil. Um, no. Okay, I just like wanted this yogurt. It's like a throwback. I used to get this yogurt when I was young. This area is getting messed up. I used to get that yogurt all the time when I was in high school. So now I just get one every time. Or like, 
not even elementary school middle school like literally growing up I got that yogurt so I just get one every time we go to have like a blast from the past and then I'm good and then tonight we decided we're doing steak because Colin got some steak and I'll like whip up a side somehow some way we'll do a side some side something guess where I am starting off my morning at Starbucks I did just take a workout class so I need to order Nespresso pods I don't have any again and Target's completely sold out so I guess I should just order them online from Target but I have to go to Target again soon anyway like today or tomorrow so we'll check again my voice is a little raspy today and towards the end of the workout I kind of started um, my cough is like coming back and I don't know why so might be taking tomorrow off from my workout if that's the situation. Okay, I just had a nice chat with the girl in the drive-thru. I always forget to ask for no cocoa powder on top of my Irish cream cold brew. I've resorted to just going back to ordering the grande drinks because I just felt like they kept giving me a venti amount of coffee and so I would order it and then I would just never get to finish it and I would give it to Colin. And he doesn't love these because he likes his, I think it's so funny too because I think that this coffee is so sweet. He likes his coffee so like crazy sweet. Like there's no point in even getting a coffee. Like that's why he's like a Frappuccino guy. Like he likes his coffee when it doesn't taste like coffee, when it tastes like something insanely sh like sugary. Guys, good morning. I'm excited to go home and make breakfast because I woke up this morning starving. So I had a banana before I left and I'm still starving. Like I, I feel like I've hit that point in my third trimester where I'm just hungry all the time. Okay. I have got to wash my hair today, so I just put it up because Colin's hair looked ridiculous and he loves my hat. So he just took my hat and said, I'm gonna wear it today. So he's out um, working. He probably won't be back until later, later, but I had one bagel left, so I decided to make my little bagel. And made me this when she was here and now I'm like absolutely obsessed. So I'm just buttering the bagel, except, oh, guys, oh my God, something about Colin that bothers me is when he's cooking if he uses all the butter he doesn't like replace the butter in the butter dish so he never does so i went to get butter and there was no butter so i had to get a new thing of butter and it was all like hard so now i'm trying to get it to melt oh my god there's a literal dog hair in my butter you prop plop some cheese on top of your fried egg and let the cheese melt oh my god it is so good and then you just Put the egg down. Colin ended up making like that steak. He just made steak and rice last night and now the kitchen's a mess from him cooking. So I'm gonna eat. And then probably clean the kitchen, take Murph for a walk. I've been doing computer work while I have been waiting for breakfast here. already just like answering emails and stuff. I have a video exporting. And then we're gonna have to wash our hair because it's disgusting. But I'm gonna go eat my little brekkie. I had sort of like low expectations for myself today. Like I knew I was gonna wash my hair, but I didn't know about like anything else after that. And I actually successfully put makeup on and a outfit, so good for me. Um, this little jumpsuit is actually from Free People, and I don't even know how old it is because my mom was doing a closet clean out and was like, "Oh my God, you look so cute in this pregnant," and so she gave it to me the other day. And I just have a little Free People turtleneck on underneath too, and I think it does such a good job of making me feel comfy so i'm really into it but um i successfully also got all my work done for today like everything that i had on my work to-do list so it's three murphy doesn't know this but he's going on a play date play date at 4 30 with his bestie brody and i did an online order for some honey tea at target face wash and um espresso pods because i saw that they it said like available for pickup so i was like oh my god i'm gonna do order pickup and get some espresso pods so maybe they got like a restock in but anyway since it is three i'm going to get dinner going because i'm doing a little crock pot recipe so i was not paying attention and then i was like oh my god i need to vlog but i just diced up a bunch of red potatoes oh just lost one in the sink but just diced up five of those wash off our green beans that i got yesterday and this is the reason i'm 
doing a crock pot recipe is because meat grosses me out and I don't want to cook it. So I'm just going to take it out of the packaging and place it in the crock pot. Um, we don't have crock pot liners and I know that that would be more beneficial for me. But I was also just snacking on some carrots and dill dip while I was eating. Wash off the green beans, put the chicken in, season it, and then let it go in the crock pot. So it's ready to go by the time Colin gets back later tonight for dinner. And then I'm going to make myself lunch. So we've got a lot of cooking going on at the moment. Okay, so here it is in the crock pot before I like do things to it. So I'm doing chicken burrito bowls. So I do chicken and then over here I have black beans, tomatoes, green pepper, and a diced onion. And I just had that cooking. Whoa. And then my rice is currently in, I'm also making a TikTok. My rice is in the microwave from Trader Joe's. I put it in there. I have my lettuce chopped up. I'm going to do that guacamole and then I just mix together sour cream and water and then salt and pepper. Look at how good this looks. Yum. Do you want to go <laughs> sit? Sit. No, I already asked him and then I started recording. Do you want to go see Brody? Should we go for rides? Do you want to go see Brody? Do you want to go play with Brody? Oh my god, he's so excited. Wait, what is on your butt? <gasps> oh no, I know you guys saw that too. Amazing news. That was not poop, that was a wood chip from the porch that was on his butt. I know, okay, I hyped him up too much. I have to pee first, and your mom's pregnant, she has to pee. About to pull up to Murph's play date. He can tell, he knows where we are, he recognizes the old apartment. We're just meeting up at the Ballantyne Golf Course because the Ballantyne Golf Course is currently being um, renovated so you can go play on it. I've like mentioned this before, but in case you're new here, there's this huge golf course, they're turning it into like a big shopping center, and we are gonna go play. Water break. He just played so hard, it was really good for him. Oh shit, there goes the water. I have not sat down. Oh, sorry Murphy, he was sleeping, I just woke him up. It's all good, okay. I have not sat down all day today, literally. So I'm sitting down, and the minute I sat down, I realized how bad my body hurts. Like, my body hurts so bad. So, I'm so glad I did a crock pot meal. And I'm probably going to be sitting here until Colin gets home. But I got my um, target order. So my pods, this tea I'm going to make for like a little post-dinner dessert face wash. This is the face wash I get. It's just the Neutrogena Hydro Boost my skin loves. And then I had a package at the old apartment that I picked up. And it was a PR package from Summer Fridays. And they sent me um, their light or a vitamin C and peptide eye cream to try out. This is a new product. How's this angle? I'm gonna open it really quick. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Oh, I like need to take naps throughout the day, I think. Here's the packaging, it's so cute. Let's smell it, hold on. Oh, there's a little lid thing. Okay. Oh my God, it smells so good. And it's orange. Um, color correcting, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm gonna double check the ingredients, but I think I can use this. But my whole body hurts. Also, I checked and Free People does not have this jumpsuit anymore, which makes sense because it was really, really old in my mom's. But anyway, I'm just gonna sit here and relax and I might fall asleep because I feel like I could. Oh, wow. Whoa, holy moly. <laughs> Do you like my jumpsuit? Yeah, it's cute. Why would you buy it from? My mom gave it to me. Okay, here's yours. You make it pretty. My mom, where's mine? My mom was doing the closet clean out and she gave it to me the other day after Orange Theory. Ever since you got home from work, I've been sitting here waiting for you to tell me you thought I looked cute. And you never did. I just did. I know, but I said, do you like my jumpsuit first? Because usually you come home and you're like, hi babe, oh, you look cute. And today you didn't. You said hi babe. 
you just didn't tell me how cute I was. So I had to ask you for validation because my love language is words of affirmation. <laughs> I thought you would think I was cute. Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> So I think it's just a cold because I also took um, I got tested for COVID and it's negative um, Murphy's just been like Like I've taken him for walks. I don't even feel good but I'm about to make chicken noodle soup boil some chicken. I'm gonna do homemade except um, I don't think any of my camera batteries are charged. So um, I'm gonna put it all in the crock pot and then tell you guys how I make it um but yes, we are having a sick day. I'm so thankful it's not COVID. And I have not left the house today or yesterday. Probably not gonna leave the house for the next few days. So that's on that. Let me just say, being sick and pregnant at the same time is miserable. Like it's 10 times worse than when you're sick and not pregnant. It's, I don't know why, but it's just like, uh, <laughs> it's really bad. <coughs> so, anywho, um, I'm about to take my temperature again. I'm about to take my temperature again, just in case, um, because it's been like a few hours since I took my temp, but oh, that's what we're dealing with. <laughs> She's the size of a cantaloupe. That's a big baby. It is a big baby. My next appointment is on Tuesday. So we have another one at 35 weeks and then we go back at 36, 37, 38, 39. I don't know how long we'll be pregnant for. But um, yeah, wow, this is really noodly soup. Huh? I mean, I kind of like noodles, but so yeah, this is like our last two week stretch pretty much because then we go back or this next this next coming appointment is our last two week stretch because then after the two weeks when we go at 35, we go back the next week. Oh, I don't know if you can tell, but it is in fact snowing. There's my car right there. Good morning guys. It happened again snowed a ton I think so excited <laughs> to know exactly what happened again oh my goodness uh oh okay you guys so I bought this really sketchy rug off of an Instagram ad and it came from China and it took over a month to get here and it came like this so I'm just like really concerned because I thought it would come in like a big rug form and it did not so 
Due to logistic, it's folded and compressed. Oh wait, I need to read that before I open it. Yikes. Due to logistics restrictions on size packages, saving customers transportation costs, or rugs are folded and compressed when the rug is opened. The rug may appear wrinkled and creased. Don't worry, flatten the rug and smooth the wrinkles after a few days of normal use. Oh, I didn't, that wasn't a complete sentence, but it's because I didn't read it. Murphy, move, dude. Oh god, this is gonna get trashed. Yep. Hmm. Okay, so we are regrouping. Um, final decision on the rug. By the way, it's way later, you guys. Um, to be honest, when you feel like crap, which doesn't happen to me very often, very rarely, but when you don't feel good, well, actually, no. My entire first trimester, I didn't feel good, and I was the worst blogger of my entire life. So, anywho, when you don't feel good, you certainly don't feel like vlogging. I took a, such a good nap. Heated up this pizza from Trader Joe's. Um... I'm only having one piece of it though. It's Collins. I made mac and cheese for dinner. Collins making this cookie skillet recipe that we found on TikTok. And we're just having like a normal day. And then I'm gonna do my nighttime tea. My um vanilla chamomile tea. I've been drinking this at night to help it with my coffee and stuff before I go to bed. I'm gonna show you guys how I make it because I jazz it up a little bit. But yeah, this is just turned into a serious it girl wall unintentional but we're rolling with it so i'm just gonna eat my macaroni i think that sucks is when you get pregnant and you get sick you literally can't really take anything so i'm assuming it's gonna take me longer to get over the sickness because i can't take medicine colin's tiktok cookie skillet i'll leave the tiktok below so for my tea this is our little tea kettle I will say tea kettles are like the bomb. We have a ton of these from our registry. So you just pop a little tea bag in, pour it with the water. And then you just let it sit for five minutes. Your tea bag has sat in there for like five minutes. Then first you just gotta take the tea bag out. So I'm gonna go run over the here to the trash and do it really quick. I like the way the tea tastes by itself. I like my things sweet and I like them sweet. So I added some of this vanilla syrup that I put in my cold foam in my coffee and I literally just add a little. Well, you know, my little and your little might be different, but you're sad, like a little bit. And then I made my own strawberry syrup and it's strawberry like basil infused syrup. So essentially I did this a few days ago and I didn't vlog it because I did it when I didn't feel good. So I might need to do it again and vlog it, but it's really, really easy. You can just Pinterest how to make home st strawberry syrup at home, like strawberry basil syrup if you want, but it was just basil, frozen strawberries and sugar. It was so simple and uh, um, yeah, it just made me like a little strawberry simple syrup. So I have it in my WEC jar. I want to get a cuter jar for it because I've been putting it in a lot of things. But then I've just been putting some of this. There's a basil leaf at the bottom, so I've been making sure I don't get it in there. But hi, I've been putting some in here. I think that's enough. And then just mixing it all together. And then I let it cool. And this is my little sick girl nighttime tea and I think it really helps with my throat in the middle of the night so my throat doesn't hurt or anything when I swallow um until like the middle of the night which is weird so yeah I've been drinking this and it's been helping with like minimal coughing in the middle of the night so I'm gonna drink this we're gonna go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning good morning guys so I still feel like a mess and I still look like a mess and I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here. We're gonna call it a sick girl vlog and we're gonna work on bettering ourselves in the next vlog. Plus I'm a whole new week pregnant this week and I just think it's a good day to start a new vlog. So I'm gonna end this one here, start a whole new one today and we're gonna just keep the ball rolling and keep our spirits high and hopefully that makes us feel better. The good news is I still haven't had a fever at all, so. It's not like that bad. It's just the whole matter of the fact of like all of this going on. It's just annoying. And I think I have third trimester pregnancy insomnia. So we love that for me. 
but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog um send well wishes my way because i absolutely need them i need them a lot and at least my baby's breath is cute but yeah that's all for now i'm gonna go we will see you in the next vlog i love you i mean it in the meantime if you want to keep up with me in between vlogs instagram and tiktok i've been hitting tiktok hard so just say self promo had to throw it in there i love you guys you're the best uh have a good day um and um uh, don't let anyone bring you down because if they're trying to bring you down, they're just having a bad day or they're insecure and don't let them rain on your parade because you can't help how other people act and you can't control other people's reactions. You can only control your own. Preaching when I'm sick. That's all I gotta say. Okay, see you. Love you. Bye.